Hi, I'm Dr. Max, here in here by Dr. Max, or Body Hair Transplant Institute. Uh, we're here today with uh, Patrick, who had his uh, transplant procedure exactly 12 months ago. He is here today for his follow-up appointment and uh, the last PRP treatment, if I remember correctly, right? You already had two, yeah. one of the day of the procedure at six months and at 12 months, it's the final PRP treatment. At this time, we kind of, uh, by uh, 12 months, we see about 80 to 90% of the potential results. Uh, the, the final results actually take up to a year and a half, sometimes even two years. But we can kind of get a general idea where we're heading, uh, seeing 80 to 90% uh, results. Uh, a little bit of background, so we did it 12 months ago. Um, it was an FUE procedure. Everything went pretty good, flawlessly, right? The implant, it was a direct graft implantation. That means no forceps being used to implant grafts, no uh, pre-made incisions. Uh, everything went with the special implanters. Um, it's all in uh, hair by Dr. Max. We always do it. Uh, only surgeon does it. Okay, technicians ev don't ever implant. This way, we minimize any injury to grafts, and the overall uh, time required for implantation is reduced by 50% uh, at least. And it's important factor because the uh, faster we can reimplant those grafts the better survival rate because there's less time they're seen on the petri dish, on the chilled petri dish and get back the oxygen and blood flow as needed, right? So just give you a little background. Um, uh, Patrick uh, works at the, uh, the airline, right? Yep. And uh, he had some time obviously with these uh, changes in uh, with COVID and uh, how do you feel so far about the procedure? Oh, I feel great. Um, um... I, I followed the instructions you gave me, you know, you know, by the T, you know, taking care of the hair, make sure the follicle was safe, and mm -hmm. I did everything exactly the way you told me to, and it's, I mean, it's, I, I've seen a difference even within the last month, you know, mm -hmm. how thick, thicker it is, it's, yes. and uh, it's just, I've been doing the, all the procedures every day, every single mm -hmm. day, and uh, Perfect. yeah, it's just, it's healthy, it looks good, it's, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's how it is. So, so the hairs actually start growing almost right away after uh, the implanted hair, but they become thicker and stronger. So unless, and that's why you see more and more thickness over time, because they just become thicker. They first go into dormant phase and become really tiny, and as it become thicker, you see more density. So, how the procedure went? Was it? Uh, an easy or not so easy experience for you? It was good. It, it, you took the time and it, it took like a, a full day, but yes. I, I think I needed it because it was, you know, you did everything precise and I, I'm very happy, I'm very happy with the, the results. Good. And uh, have, have anyone noticed that, you know, your hair oh, is yeah, different? Yeah. People have, have really, oh, like, oh, you look, you look great, oh, your hair, you know, oh, wow. You know. So they really haven't noticed, you know, like a big, ch you know, like something drastically mm -hmm. but I didn't want them to know I just wanted you know to be casual and right but when you see before and after pictures we oh. see a tremendous difference right yeah because I see a difference like even like when I go through like like the grocery store and there's like a, a monitor and I'll mm -hmm. see the hairline and I'm like wow it's thicker than it's ever been. right I've never yeah. seen it mm -hmm. so. yeah so and it, it is important to realize even after transplant um, uh, it is important to continue taking medication like finasteride, minoxidil, yeah. because you do want to protect your existing hair. The transplant hair will, will likely stay with your lifetime, right? Your existing hair yeah. is still sensitive to DHT damage over time, so it's important to continue with. Uh, and I stay out of the sun, and I uh, mm -hmm. just kind of follow the instructions that you gave me, and and it's gone through different phases, you know. I've, I've, like every couple of months, there's like a new phase or new change or right. you know, one hair, a couple of hairs are cur curly and straight. Then I was growing it out long mm -hmm. and then I cut it. And, and that's yeah. a very typical process. So uh, so kind of summarize, would you, would you recommend those procedures? Oh, definitely, yeah. I actually have. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, the guy who cuts my hair is like, it's amazing. Oh my God. Yes. I tell him you know, all about it. And, so they're excited. Thank you very much for, um, uh, for, for you sharing your experience. So with any questions regarding what we do here, you can reach out directly to me, come for, uh, here for confidential consultation. 
Uh, check our website bringbackhair.com. Uh, you can call us at 954-945-2909. Thank you.